What's good, YouTube? Dragonman24 here, welcoming you back to another episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Black Eagles playthrough. The hero route. We just completed chapter 14, or rather, we are uh, about to complete it because we do, I'm sure, have some story to get through. So let's go ahead and save our progress and jump back into it right where we left off at the end of the last battle. We drove back the Imperial Army. The real fight has only just begun. I never thought I'd be fighting Randolph. I guess it can't be helped, seeing as how I've left my own territory and all. But what will I do if my father or brother get involved? I really don't want to face them. We must stay strong. Too true, Professor. So long as the Empire is our enemy, we cannot avoid fighting those we are acquainted with. Though I suppose I have it easier, since my house is no longer on the Empire's side. My friends from the Opera said they would leave the capital and go west. So at least I won't be seeing them in battle. Hmm. I don't think I care if my own house falls. <laughs> Let's make it a grand fight. After a grand nap, of course. Nice, Linhart. It does Linhart. not give me happiness to have the people of Bridget involved. But it is not the time to be thinking of that. If it is a possibility, I will be having their strength. I don't mind at all, really. I have no friends anyway, and my father hasn't done much to make me care for him. Not that he'd ever step on a battlefield anyway. Oh, but I do wonder how Mother is doing. Each of our situations is unique. What we share is companionship, and the will to fight as one. Professor, you are the heart of our efforts. We will support you as best we can. I have a proposal. It would be most difficult to fight the Imperial Army with the forces we have now. As such, I believe we should send messengers to whatever lords we can trust in the Kingdom and the Alliance, so that we may gain their support. Do you agree? Absolutely. Let's find... You say that. Let's find Claude. If all we do is bide our time, our enemy's main army will come down upon us like a hammer from above. Who are you planning to ask? Sadly, House Karen is out. We can trust them, but they have no help to offer. Hmm. How about House Daphnel of the Alliance? Their leader is sure to at least respond. Judith, the hero of Daphnel. Yes, that is a fine suggestion. That territory is on the border of the Kingdom and the Alliance. It has not yet been claimed by the fires of war. If they agree to lend us their troops, our forces will be greatly strengthened. We shall send along a secret messenger at once. Let's keep on keeping on. Part 2. Silver Snow. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the Resistance Army, in desperate need of troops, seeks help from Judith, head of House Daphnel, the governing body in the northwestern regions of Alliance territory. You know, it was odd, the fact that the last chapter was named A King Without a Kingdom and we saw nothing of Dimitri. I'm really concerned as to his whereabouts. I'm not sure how big of an impact that'll play on the story. Ah, it is you. We were just talking about Rhea. We have searched for five long years, but have not found a trace of her. It is possible that she is sleeping somewhere, just as you were sleeping all those years. Perhaps. Do you think so? I truly hope that is the case. We have moved against the Empire with the intent of defeating them, but have not given up hope of recovering Rhea. If she is alive, we will find her. 
Rhea is like family to us. And to you as well. Please, lend me your strength. The messenger we sent to Daphnal returned with a reply. Please, read it at once. I understand your situation. I will help you with whatever strength I have to spare. But there is a problem. Openly marshalling soldiers within my territory could provoke other members of the Alliance. Therefore, I will secretly gather troops in Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Will your group be able to receive the soldiers at this location? From there, it should be safe to return to the Monastery by following the border between the Alliance and the Kingdom. Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Aelel is a deep valley located on the border of the Kingdom and the Alliance. People stay far away. There, we can meet without anyone finding out. It is decided. Make plans to meet up with our reinforcements at once. Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Oh no. We have a spy. Nah, fam. I'm not about it. It's Hanuman's birthday. Give him flowers. Um... Getting that Silverlands Plus would actually be pretty good. But, I do want to kind of just zoom through this. Let's actually check out the battles real quick. We have until 526 to complete this paralogue. So as a matter of fact, you know what? I think we're going to do it right now. No, better yet, we'll save some paralogs for the end of the month. So let's go ahead and take this chance that we have. Maybe we'll do a seminar, because we haven't done one of those in a while. I would like to raise... Anyone can give a lecture now. I would like to raise my swordsmanship and authority, but I guess that's just not going to happen. Let's start the month out with a rest. Or no, actually let's explore the monastery. I know what I want to do. Let's do everything in our power to raise our professor level. So we'll start by going to the dining hall. I want to make this quick and efficient. Today's special, let's raise Ferdinand and Linhart's motivation. Delicious! This is my... Professor level is getting there, but that was a, not a lot. Let's go to the greenhouse. I believe this is, yeah. Let's harvest all that we got. Wow, that did not do much to raise anything, actually. Um, let's go to the cathedral. Let's talk to the counselor. There's one note. What's the difference between killing someone and calling for their death instead? In both situations, their blood is on your hands, and so isn't it all the same? The best to just... Like all things in life, it's about context and perspective. Let's do acquire... Petra, 
And Dorothea. Learn. I'll keep. I work to. Okay, that did not do much for my professor level, but we're getting close. Let's go... Let's actually go to the training grounds and take part in this tournament. Ferdinand is obviously the best choice for this. He's got 48 hit points compared to this guy. Ooh, this is great. This is actually really, really good. We dodge. Nope, we take nine. If I live, I fight. If I live, I fight. Fight. Those are some tough words. Another level 18. This is the cost of war. Okay, I think it's time we heal them. Um, restore 35 HP. Bring us back up to full. We're not going to be fighting any other students, so this is actually prime time to be doing some tournaments. This it also gains us some war. gold. Eight times two. Ooh, we dodged those. We dodged another one. What a failure. This is the cost of war. Back up to 40. Ooh, not maxed. But this one is slower than the last. Just enough. This is the cost of war. Come on, let that be the last one. That was the finals, yes. Nice work, Ferdinand. Okay. That's enough of that. We have some four conversations, so we're going to do some of those, obviously. We're going to do... I'm really curious what happened to Ash. I know he didn't die. Because I did my best to keep him alive. He was a champion. He was a champion among champions. Um... Hmm. I don't know what else I want to do. I think maybe let's just go back to the dining hall. We'll have another meal. We'll do something like that. Yes. These two, once again. Let's get their motivations up. I also saw that Petra's gonna need some motivation increase. It's two. I apologize. Petra needs it. And Hanuman needs it. Let's raise our motivation. I would you our professor level is so close to be to B plus.
Let's do some training then. Who can train a Seth? Hmm. Manuela. I know Manuela can train us in swords. As this we have a advanced drills train my swordsmanship Catherine train my swordsmanship we've heard beep if the store indifference right now yep we've heard people if the store in right now all right, let's go ahead and take a look at some support conversations real quick. There are quite a few of them. So real quick is actually quite the understatement. Aha, Lysithia. It's wrong to tease, yet I can hardly help myself. I know a secret. Your secret, in fact. I think you mean a baseless rumor. Why are you wasting your time? And mine, for that matter. Well... It's a secret that could completely overturn what is considered common knowledge in Crest research. Shut your mouth! Just... Uh, let's go talk somewhere other than here. Wow, something just happened. Okay, where did you hear about it? There was a sort of accident in Professor Hanneman's room. I should have figured. You haven't told anyone, have you? Of course not. If someone else were to learn you have two crests, I might lose you as a test Ooh, subject. Oh, she's tall. <sighs> Please stop talking so loudly. So what if I have two crests? If you insist on speaking of it, please do so quietly. My intuition was correct. You do have two crests. Wait, what? Did you just trick me? Trick is such a strong word. I think of it as testing a hypothesis. The truth is, I simply made an educated guess. Uh, well, now that I've confirmed it for you, there's not much I can do. I disagree. For example, you could tell me if you were born with them, or is the source magical? What does it feel like to use both crests at the same time? Is it pleasant, painful, euphoric? Enough is enough! I am done talking about this! As though I'd speak of this to the likes of you. I understand her desire for privacy, but to refuse my request for knowledge? It's, well, it's rude. Okay, um, Bernadetta and Caspar. Um, hi. Well, well, if it isn't Bernadetta, what brings you here? Am I bothering you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'll come back another time. Well, don't leave yet, you just got here. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Uh, yes. Do you remember that time in town? In town? Oh, you mean when all those thieves showed up? Whew, that was rough. I heard a bunch of people got robbed. I mean the time I was... carried off. Some thieves tried to carry you off? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Just tell me which way they went. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> That's not what I mean! Oh, God. Oh, just forget it. Wait, don't go. What are you trying to ask me? Will you really listen this time? Of course. Sorry. You have my full attention. Do you remember when you carried me to that spot with a really pretty view? <clears throat> Where is that place? I've been looking all over. The place I took you with a view? <gasps> oh, right! <coughs> okay, first you go out of the monastery, and actually it's kind of tricky to explain. Come on, I'll just take you there again, but pay attention this time. <laughs> He's carrying her again. Stop! Let me down! Bernadetta. 
Bernadette and Sedis. Hmm. Oh, is that Sedith? Wow, he looks really deep in thought. I wonder what he's writing. A secret diary, maybe? That phrase doesn't quite work, does it? Let's see about an alternative. Hmm, too uncertain for a diary. Maybe it's a letter. Or a poem. No, that's bound to introduce misunderstanding. Precision is the key. It must be really important if he's putting that much thought into every word. But I mustn't overcomplicate things either. Parting words ought to be precise. Parting? It's a farewell letter? <gasps> is he writing his resignation? Said it can be a little scary sometimes, but I hope he doesn't leave. It'd be sad to see him go. He shouldn't make such rash decisions. If he's unhappy about something, he should tell someone. Come now. Do you really think I would resign? He heard all of that. <laughs> you... you heard all that? If you don't wish to be heard talking to yourself, then you should not speak so loudly. I'm sorry to hear that you find me intimidating. Wait, Bernadetta! <laughs> Ugh. Typical behavior for the girl. Most concerning. Can she really go through life this way? Hey, sh hey now, she's getting better. And he said, I don't even have a horse! <laughs> Pretty funny story, huh? <sighs> what is it, Shamir? You're not laughing. Didn't you think it was funny? Sure. So then laugh. You could stand to be a little friendlier, you know. Do I need to be? What do you mean, need to be? Friendship isn't about obligation. You could try being a bit warmer. Like, when I first met you, I took the time to introduce myself and make friendly conversation, and you just said, Hi, I'm Shamir. I remember thinking that you wouldn't be easy to get along with. Now that's funny. I remember thinking you were just another knight who loved the sound of her own voice. You know, the type who's all talk but useless in battle. Wow. That's a bit harsh. Did you really think that? That's yes. harsh. That's tight, dude. <laughs> but you changed your mind when you saw me in action. I did. You're surprisingly strong. Well, even though you had zero charm, you did a nice job of supporting me. Now I know that you'll always have my back. In fact, maybe I should take it easy and let you handle all the fighting. It sounds like I'm going to be doing a lot more work around here. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. At any rate, we're bound together, so we better try to get along. Don't you think, partner? If that's how you see it, I can't disagree. Dorothea. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish exploring. And move on. We have instruction to do. Look at all of us around our table. Um, Linhart, we need to get your riding up. Tell it is. A it is a. Um. Who did I really want to work on? I'm not sure now. Petra? Ay, 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 Petra. Let's work on Shamir's sword skill. Let's do nice, perfect. Nice. Your praise is. That wasn't good. Okay.
Catherine's getting there. Let's get her authority up. And we might as well keep working on it. Caspar. Ferdinand, let's work on your heavy armor a bit. Oh, perfect. I am quite. Oh my god, this man is just. This man was just throwing out perfects like it was nothing. Bernie, let's work on your riding. Almost there. Dorothea, Petra, Petra, let's work on your authority. You have your your just enough to bring her up. And that's gonna be it for that lesson. Let's begin training. I have to ask you. I have a tactical question, Professor. Let's say you're leading an army and the enemy whose forces greatly outnumber your own has you surrounded. What would you do in that situation? Push forward, punch a hole in their formation, hold my position and save them off. Divide my forces to carry out a two-pronged assault. Are you pulling my leg? Ooh, Professor will level it one up regardless. We gain more activity points for exploration. That's a lot of activity points. Bernadetta, let's see how she's doing. I can't believe how long it's been since I left home. Since I was dragged out of the house, I mean. Five whole years. It's weird to think about. Weird in what way? At first, I remember I was desperate to go back, but now it's the opposite. I have friends here, and I have you. The monastery's become a second home to me. Back then, I never would have dreamed a day like this would come. I'm happy for you. It's all thanks to you. You've given me a second chance at life. If not for you, I never would have gotten used to leaving my room, let alone the monastery. Maybe the battlefields just dulled my senses. I'm much better with strangers and new places now, though. I don't panic nearly as much as before. Could you go somewhere new by yourself? A new place? All on my own? That sounds like a tough assignment. Where did this come from all of a sudden? Hey, hold on. <laughs> You're teasing me, aren't you? Please don't joke around like that anymore. It's torture for me. All right, all right. You're still not taking me seriously. I mean it. Promise me you won't do that again. Mm. Friends respect each other's feelings, don't they? Okay, I promise. Good. I'll hold you to that. You're absolutely not allowed to send me out anywhere on my own. Got it? You would need to come with me. If you're with me, I can go anywhere in the world. Well, oh, she's blushing. I'll be with you in spirit. I'll follow at a distance. No, that defeats the purpose. Why can't you get what I'm saying? I thought we were finally getting close. I guess I'm not good enough for that. I didn't like anyway. any of those options though. I'll let you have this one, but you better be ready for next time. Nothing is Let's try A How you guys doing? Perfect? Ooh, nice. Can I use this off the battlefield?
Dorothy would like to speak to you. Yes, thank you. I was waiting for that. This may seem a bit sudden, but I want to thank you, Professor. That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. So you found me out. Well, of course. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? It's kind of sweet in its own way. <laughs> Professor, may I tell you a story about when I was younger? I was an orphan living in the back alleys of Enbar until one day I was overheard singing. That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility. I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice and they showered me with gifts, I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade. My voice would change. I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old, alone, and back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. I won't let you be alone. <laughs> That's sweet of you, even if you are just flirting. I never had much to begin with in life, and I worry that one day I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songstress. Who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. Alright, real quick before we go. I just want to check our certifications. I could make Baleth a sword master right now if I wanted to. Ooh. I could also make Linhart a paladin finally. 46%. Nope. No thank you. I could finally make him a cavalier though. That's good. Caspar's fine. Bernie's fine. Dorothea is fine. Petra's fine. Lysithia. Wouldn't mind making you a warlock. Oh, just not yet. Sedith. Flane. Hanuman's can... He can attempt it. I think it's kind of worth the attempt. Become a warlock. Is what he'd be? Yeah. Manuela is level 24. Make her a bishop. Alois. Catherine. Shamir. You need to get her sword skill higher. Oh well. It doesn't look like we're going to be doing anything right now. You know what, we're going to go ahead and extend this episode just a little bit longer because I, I'm going to go ahead and take a rest. Because I needed to gain some recharge on that sword. Instruct manually. And let's just finish off by instructing our students. We have six uses of this. Let's work on... <laughs> it's not like we can do much, but I kind of want to work on Bernie's archery. I got it. That was a... <laughs> That's how much increase we get for working on her archery. Another perfect. Nice, okay. I want to get her to A-plus as soon as possible. 
once again, we're back to Shamir. Because we can finally get her sword skill up to C. I'm finding my Bad. Are you kidding me? Console. I'll do better next time. Let's do the Nice. Okay. Cyril, we definitely need to get your authority up. I I feel like feeling pretty I feel Okay. Alois. So let's work on your axe skill. I want to get all these guys that are already really high up to just cross over the threshold. Always make make your way to A+. My Scythia is so close. We're just going to level up her authority. Perseverance is the key. I'm gonna have to take a look at what that skill was that she just got, because that looked interesting. Despite the fact that I just skipped over it. Let's work on your lancing. Your oh, that was nothing. Okay. We're done. Begin training. Professor, what brings you out so late? I could ask you the same. I've been worrying about something. I asked you once to help me achieve my goal of being a person who can simply nap all day. Then I thought, if the world becomes a peaceful place, all my crest research might be for naught. Why is that? Well, I don't see how crests have much use in times of peace. Certainly there are crests that make you stronger and could be used in engineering. And I suppose crests that increase magical abilities might help doctors heal injuries. Still, the possibilities seem limited. It's as if crests were designed to be used only in times of war. Their power meant to bring about death and destruction. Maybe you're right. I cannot prove what I say is true, but suppose for a moment that it is. The longer this war goes on, the more useful my crest research becomes. But if the war were to end today, we would go on living, perhaps not using the power of our crests at all. It is truly my dream to be a crest scholar, but I also dream of all the wonderful naps peace would bring. Saying it all out loud, it feels a rather stupid thing to worry over. Knowledge or peace? Sleep or war? It's not stupid. Thank you, Professor. I appreciate the sentiment. Although if I stop researching crests, I'll have one less excuse to spend time with you. Professor, don't make faces like that. People like you who listen to my blathering and then nod and smile as though what I say matters? People like you are very precious to me. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. <laughs> Support is A with Linhart. Ooh, that's, that's good. That's, that's our first one, I think. Amazing. Another perfect for these two. Seems simple enough. Let's put this. I work to grow. I'm getting it. She's A plus. Ooh, she fine. She's our first A plus in anything. Nicely done, Shamir. Alright guys, I'm going to save this for the next episode. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.